Good morning everyone. So I, I um, today I plan on, I'm going to try and do a tutorial um, on how to cook a, a simple fried egg and a fried egg sandwich. I was going to add some cheese but I, I've already eaten my cheese for the day in the morning. I was a bit gluttonous um, and I don't want to eat too much cheese because there won't be as much left. Um, I'm going to really try and stay calm during this tutorial because sometimes when I cook eggs in the morning it, it can all get a bit out of hand um, and it's really something I'm trying to improve on because as long as you're better than you were yesterday then I, I don't think uh, problems in life will ever kind of reoccur. Um, so now I'm just going to move on to getting the equipment out that you're going to need. It's all quite simple. There's no point me telling you about it now because I'm going to do that in about three seconds. So, um, yeah. so staying calm, that's a big thing this morning. Hello, so now we're on to the part of the tutorial where we mention the ingredients that we're going to be using. Um, so here we have two slices of bread um, to make a sandwich. Now of course you could just use one, but then you'd have to cut it in half and you'd have half a sandwich, which may be fine, but as this is my first meal of the day, I really want to get in some slow burning carbohydrates to carry me through um, this quarantine. So there's our bread. It, it is white, I know maybe hasn't got as many kind of seeds or wholemeal textures in it as the brown wood. But last week I had brown bread and I really like to have some, you know, diversity in my um, flour based uh, products. And uh, okay, so now three simple eggs. These um, eggs are very, um, basically they don't come in many forms. An egg is an egg, you know, very reliable in that sense. And uh, these are three, you could go for four, you could go for two. I would recommend if you are going to have four, then your um, the egg to bread ratio might, uh, it's going to be quite skewed. Okay, I'm getting a bit excited now, so I need to bring the energy back down. Um, so yeah, but I'll go for three, I recommend three. You can do two, um, of course you could do any quantity of eggs in it. Okay, so okay, we're going to keep going. Um, and then lactose free butter here, the cheese. I mentioned earlier it's goat's cheese, so I, you know, I'm mildly allergic to uh, dairy products, but not these ones. Even though they are still dairy products, of course, but it's the lactose that I'm allergic to, not the word dairy or kind of categorization in that sense. I've also, you may have noticed some spices over here. Um, I'm not going to be using them for my eggs at all, and um, there's quite a lot here, quite spicy, but. If I was going to make a chili con carne or something, you know, I could always just use some pepper or some salt or something like that to really give it a kick. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll, I will be adding some pepper, some salt, sorry, onto my um, eggs at the end. Oh, don't worry about this. Okay. Um, so now we're going to get onto the equipment. Okay, and so here we have just the equipment. Now we've got a lovely frying pan here, a nice size suits the uh, three eggs. Um, it's got a handle and metal and it says IKEA on it, I'm not sure why. Um, and lastly, oh wow that was a bit of a racket, I need to bring the energy down again. Okay, um, and I've got my knife and fork here. I probably won't use the fork but I'm going to, I like to be on the safe side. I'm not going to take any risks like I have been in the last week. And I remember I'm really trying to improve on myself as a person. Um, and here's a plate, a simple plate, it's just a flat, firm surface to rest your sandwich on um, once completed. It's, a, it's kind of a, a silly roll the plate has because you, the only reason you have it is so that the thing that is on it um, disappears, you know? You know, so it's not, it's not, it's quite a temporary use because of course I'm not leaving my egg sandwich on there for extended periods of time. Okay, and uh, now we're going to start cooking. Okay, so now we're going to um, actually start frying the eggs. And I've just realised that I'd forgotten the um, olive oil. Um, so that's the mistake that I've made. Okay, and we're going to move on. Okay, so you put the pan on the hob. I'm going to turn it on to five out of six. So hot, but maybe not the, the hottest. Okay, and um, we're going to move over and calmly, calmly take a bit of olive oil. Um, not just be careful because I just then I've actually knocked it on the top of the, of the um, cupboard, 
Um, that I really would stay away from doing that. Um, that was, of course, an accident. Um, so don't follow exactly as I do. Okay, I'm going to pour into the pan. Not too much. Of course, I mean, of course it's not going to be too much. It's a stupid thing. The fact we even say too is if say not too much is stupid because of course not too much. Too much would mean a negative thing. So why would you ever do it too much? Calm down, okay? And now I'm gonna crack the eggs in the pan. So I'm just gonna go over there. I'm gonna be off screen. Don't worry, the video is still functioning. I'm um, going to crack the eggs in the pan now, so what we do is we want to hit the centre part of the egg uh, against the surface, it's the weakest point, it's going to crack, thumbs in, outwards, imagine like you're, um, wow, you're massaging someone's um, trapezius, these muscles here, and you're just doing that, so you're going to do that to the egg, okay, so remember what I said, spread the oil, and now, crack. Shoulder, trapezius, stretch. There we are. Now these go in the bin, there's a piece of shell. There's another piece of shell. Okay. And we're going to do that three times. Okay, and then we're going to, um, going to put the bread inside the, the toaster in a moment. Um, you could probably see there that I was starting to get a little bit tempestuous um, but I've calmed down now and we're just going to put the uh, bread in the uh, toaster I'm going to put the bread in the toaster calmly ok you might need to find the your middle way as you do this because it can get quite difficult ok don't want to put two pieces of bread in the same slot of a toaster that's a little bit graphic and also um, it, they're, made, they're designed for one for each okay so now we're going to wait for the eggs I'll be back with you in two minutes remember we're staying calm and we're better than we were yesterday okay so now within the pan because the eggs um, they've kind of uh, amalgamated or homogenized into a single um, egg carpet so I just need to separate the, that up um, and keep the eggs segregated uh, just so that it's easier to flip them over when necessary which is right now okay so we're going to flip these over because uh, it's getting to a point now where the eggs are starting to cook quickly quickly that means that we need to be active oh my god I've screwed that one up okay now we're going to calm down and these eggs are cooked because what we need to understand is that well, we don't need to but what I wish I can bestow upon you is that once the eggs have been flipped over and the pan is still hot and we've remained calm, they will continue to cook. Now we're getting really close to finishing now. So I'm just going to flip that one over the last little bit um, and remember, stay calm, stay calm. I pressed the toast down since the last clip. You may have seen by the decrease in altitude of the top of the bread. Um, we'll be back with you once I'm buttering, okay? Here's, here's, here's the butter that we had earlier, so butter goes down, there's just there's enough there for us, okay, and then we're going to put some on each, on each slice, on each face, no, not on each face of the bread, on each upwards facing face of one of the, I get, got a bit stumbled up there, only to remain calm, and put, just put the butter, a little simple task, simple task, maintain zen, you know, there's a simple book, um, Zen and the Art of uh, Frying Eggs in the Morning, I believe it's called. Someone wrote it, a guy called, I can't remember. There's another one called Robert Persig who wrote a nice one. Um, there we are. And we're just going to calmly put the eggs onto one of these surfaces. Oh man, I'm actually a little bit upset, you know, I mean this is all a joke of course, but I'm a little bit peeved that the yolks got cracked. So I'm not going to get a runny yolk and I'm just going to kind of get this like rubbery kind of I'm really I'm annoyed you know I thought it'd be fun but I've actually ruined my breakfast 
Um, but I have remained calm, as you can see, despite my anguish. And there we are. Okay, now there on goes the pepper, keep it seasoned. And the top goes on top, and then I'll do a little uh, talking at the end about how it tasted. Okay, so um, for the tasting, I thought I'd give us a bit of an exotic background um, to try and forget about my location and my council estate in Hackney. Um, and we're going to go for it. So, so we're slightly running and maybe content. I'm getting excited. Come on, but you've got to be on my side here. I mean, there's a really lovely. Mmm. I love it. I've eaten three eggs every day for the last two months, every morning, but every single day they just catch me by surprise with their authenticity, their consistency. It's really remarkable and the um, there's a slight hint of olive oil that remember we put in the pan first. Um, I think it's a very subtle thing but it truly makes a difference. It's quite Mediterranean tasting. Now you can of course put cheese on here and the cheese is quite nice because it's got quite a strong flavour. Um, and it sort of juxtaposes the kind of fatty, soft taste of the egg. Um, so I'm going to eat these now and I hope that the tutorial's done, done you some good. Um, and any feedback, any questions you have in the comments, please put them. Don't be afraid. I, I You know, I, I do bite, but only, only egg sandwiches. Um, uh, don't worry about, about that, that kind of attack. Um, or any other, for that matter. So, thank you everyone and have a lovely Thursday afternoon. I'm happy with how calm I stay. stayed as well.